I have another unboxing video to do today. This is a little TV that I want on eBay. It's a magnet box. And if Buster Copeland is out there, I got your TV now. <laughs> Like I'll have to get my knife. Got the tape. Well, it's not very sharp, I guess. <laughs> off like so maybe and here it is I don't really know why I got any late 80s TVs here lately for some reason this one still has one of the original stickers on it I'd like to figure out what that three-way timer is. <laughs> AV inputs on the back. That was kind of a rarity for 1989, which is a, I think is the year this set was made. They said. And... Uh, was made in Malaysia yes September 1989 it's got the degaussing button on the back and the vertical hold is that little knob right there right to there It's actually got an external speaker jack right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's the audio video inputs. Of course, it was mono. An external antenna. One thing I have noticed is the cable TV connector is a bit loose. Well, that may not be a big issue though. Okay, I've got it plugged in. Nothing's happened so far out of the that's been out of the question. It's got some batteries in the remote. Let's see if they work. And there we go. I haven't got a signal source hooked up yet, so that may be a little, a little bit of an issue. There used to be a low power station in the area, but I think it's off air now. Sadly. But the picture's not too bad on this thing. There's some controls. There's the auto program control. This must be quite a quite an upscale model for the day. It has a full feature remote. Of 
course we're not going to get anything nowadays without cable TV or an input, input source hooked up. Well, it said it got a little something on channel 11, but apparently all it is is signal leakage. As you can see right here, probably from the cable. <laughs> Are there nothing that broadcasts on channel 11 or in this area? The nearest broadcast that used to be on channel 11 was about 60 miles from here. Before the, That was before the DTV conversion. One thing I did do was uh, touch up the focus control on this set. It's, uh, it's actually accessed through the back panel. You don't have to open the setup, which is, I think, really nice. One thing is a little bit aggravating is uh, the picture appears a bit washed out, even though. The brightness is turned all the way down. Thanks for watching.